All right, anyway. Um, what was... Oh, so... One of the things that they did with the weaponry and the reason why the weapon mastery has already been, like, reached and everything... No, I'm an old player, so that's generally what it is. But with the... Um, with the weapons and everything, like I said before, they have it whereas you can you can actually upgrade. So hold on, let me go take a look at, uh, no, I can do it here. Um, so some of the previous weapons, the older ones and everything, they don't start off at max. Like this one's 57 of 70, this one's 74 of 80, this one's 77 of 80, this one's 57 of 70, and as you can see, it kind of continues. But as you consecrate it, they do upgrade a bit and then you can refine it and re-bless it and so on and so forth. Now they recently redid the blessings as well on these. So if you wanted to uh, re-bless an item, for example, this one here, you would choose one and then you only have these unlocked. The way you unlock them is through mastery. You don't actually submit a weapon anymore to, uh, to unlock the actual uh, traits of the weapon. But once you've unlocked the traits in the weapon, it's unlocked for all of the characters. You don't have to worry about it. Once you master a weapon as well, it's available for mastery on all of them. And you get a, a weapon skin or something. So this is the Masteries page, uh, for example. When you go to the Masteries page, you can see the Blessings menu and you unlock them here. And once you've gained enough blessing points, you can you can start to unlock new ones, so on and so forth, uh, as you make your way down on the bottom row, as your mastery increases with said weapon. Now, one thing I kind of wonder about is whether or not they encompassed everything that I've already done, which I don't think they have. But it doesn't matter. It's just some, there's so many weapons to use, so it reminds me a whole lot more of uh, what's the name of the game? Uh, Monster Hunter. So you start to upgrade your weapons on Monster Hunter, um, and you can upgrade individual weapons, change up your loadout, and so on and so forth, uh, according to whatever fight you're going into. And this is kind of broken down in the same way, uh, at least in my mind. Um, I'm pretty sure if you've played other games, you can kind of relate to it. See, I have six blessing points in this one. Which one would I choose? Oh, fucking hell, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> but um, the Wrath right here, cleave on hit, um, it stacks five times. It unlocks it so that I can go to Hadron and add it, add the blessing to the weapon. So if I start off with a very basic weapon that doesn't have anything or it has a, um, a low level skill on it or something like that, then I can essentially re-bless it and just use the materials. Now another thing that they also added, um, instead of just the weapon masteries themselves, is essentially the option to go in and uh, select your weapons in mass. So let's say, for example, I had a bunch of these guns or whatever, and I wanted to sell all except the main ones that I use. Then I can essentially add to favorite or discard items in mass. I can also inspect them, just like I used to be able to do, but see the attack breakdowns. I can also change the, um, the, the liveries there. And I can also uh, go between marks of weapons automatically without actually having to go back to uh, the original menu to change it out. So I can actually change it there. So they, they broke it down a little bit better, um, a little bit more detailed, a little more user friendly if you ask me. <clears throat> they did also make a few upgrades to the talent tree as well. I noticed a few more things on, uh, on some of my other characters. Granted, I don't think they did too much for the uh, for the veteran because the veterans already uh, already dealt out as, in as much detail as possible from what I can see. I think they switched a few things around here, but uh, no big changes on that. But they did do some bigger changes on like the psyker, and I think I saw some additional changes on the zealot as well. But if you log in and you haven't played for a while and your skill tree is messed up, then you definitely want to double check that. Um, they also added this since the last time I played, where you can check on your penis uh, with this lady here. I forgot what her name is. But um, her name, uh, excuse me, her, her role is just that. So she's right over here. And I knew they were gonna put something here. But she's right over here. So if there are any penances service, and stuff like that that you wanna go through, you can mark them and you can have them highlighted. 
so that you can essentially focus directly on them. Um, you can also look through here to see the ones that you haven't completed yet. Uh, and then of course you can go through all of the different ones and they have subsections. With that, you also get awards and stuff like that on the bottom row. So that you get new poses, you get new charms, you get new gear and stuff for, uh, for the way your, car your character looks. <clears throat> Not necessarily saying that that's gonna change the way that you play or uh, any effects or anything. They don't have any effects outside of visual. But it's the free stuff that they give you that you can earn just by playing, you know? And I appreciate Faith. that in games. Because, I mean, Find if you're going to be putting a thousand hours into a game, you definitely want to get something out of it more than just, I leveled up, <laughs> you know? <laughs> In addition to them doing the masteries and stuff like that, they've also improved the limited acquisitions, but I've also noticed that they have removed these from purchase. You can only get these here now. Um, in other words, the... Uh, well, they're going to be transcended here. But you were able to get those before. Uh, I forgot what they're called. Uh, the curios. You can get curio sets, but you can only get them here. But you Prove go over to the uh, to the vendor. He ain't got them no more. I serve? Oh, maybe he does. I'm wrong. They, they weren't there last week when I played. But they've changed this too in like a week. Literally. I'm sorry. They changed this in a week. Because <laughs> these weren't here before. <laughs> At least I don't recall them being there. But I would check his armory. I'd go straight down to the bottom. Now he has a variety, whereas you get a larger variety of ranged weapons, a larger variety of, uh, of melee weapons, and carriers. Well, the carriers are still two. But anyways, um, yeah, that wasn't like that before. That must have been on a very, uh, on a very recent one. I'm glad they put it back in there, though. All right, uh, let's see. Oh, all right, so one more thing. They also made it so that you can track your contracts here as well by uh, holding the select button. I don't remember what it is on there. It might be T or C on the, uh, on the keyboard. I play with a control. And you can also check whichever additional penances you want to work on here. And this also works while you're in mission. So you can see how many more dregs you need to shoot with, uh, with ranged weapons or how many scabs you need to hit with melee, you know. So you can see exactly what you're going for. And you don't have to wait until you finish the mission to regain your focus. I think that was absolutely pinnacle for me. I was just like, oh, I am so glad that that's there. And if you're playing on a team, you can tell everybody on your team that that's what you need. All right, so this is the adventurous mission. I don't see this one down here anymore. I don't see it here in the, in the, in the malice section or in the... Uh, we're in the lower lower level sections anymore. I mostly see it right here. I guess it's where they're gonna have the most play. I want to run it, but I can tell you for a fact I'm probably gonna get my ass kicked <laughs> playing this part. All right, let's go. Onward unto death. <laughs> oh no, I'm sorry. They say only in death does duty end. <laughs> so let's go. Oh, they also have this waiting, well, I wait here, but they have this section, this is where returning players uh, roll out. So I imagine this is the launch bay. All right, here we go. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, it's gonna be a shit show. I'm, I'm on the south side of this. This is gonna be a shit show. Oh, yeah, they have a So we have to get objectives done within a certain amount of time uh, on this one. Otherwise, the train crashes. He's trying to talk like he's Yoda or some shit. <laughs> what do you mean that that train isn't answering Fox Hale? 
Alright, we ain't got no time to wait. As soon as they let us out, we gotta go. Us are to inquisitorial strike team. It would appear that our things are in your Shit. hands. I've only done this once. The matter holds our full attention. Fear not, O lady of unbridled authority. Fuck it, man. Oh boy ran right by him too, it's hilarious. Well, you ran off by your fucking self for whatever reason, dude. Alright, here's the first one. The priming mechanism must return to dormancy. Attend to it. Oh, we do have a zealot. I have ordered an evacuation, but these things take time. My bad, man. My bad. No need of panic is there. Salvation is our gift, gladly given. I often hear those words. I hope yours have substance. In cover. I know my choice. Not that Shit. Let it go. Stop incoming. Oh, shit. 
I'm down here too. Hit power that the zealot has, but she's got some. She's got something to her. Something. <laughs> Call it what you will. Which is not My bad. to say that there are not competitions. I'm almost dead though. <laughs> almost dead. <laughs> Ammunition of Oh, there you go. Did he destroy him all? He destroyed him all. Right. <laughs> we made it. <laughs> Shit. We fucking made it. Nice. Holy hell. <laughs> the 53rd is grateful. Yo. My chat never works and that works. 
Yeah, G fucking G's for real. That was some good shit. That was a great run. That was fantastic. <laughs> so now they give us the mastery of stuff. Is he? Oh, I thought it said he was a dedicated in a dedicated group. So another thing today recently also added to this was this aspect. So, sorry, wrong one. My bad, my bad. So now you can find parties or set up your own. So if you want to do adventure, you can list your own party by adding it like this one. And then you can pick. So now you can set up a party and then random people can join who have the same ideals in mind. You can also search for a, a party by selecting certain ones. See, somebody else has another one that's listed right there. English, hardcore, um, in, meaning that they're, they're going to go hard on everything. They, they play at your best. And um, in addition to that, they have what, special assignments, certain things that they're going for. You can request to join, and you can see who's already in the party, too. I know some people were going for the uh, for the achievements. There's some pennants that you can only get when you're in the party, and there were some people who were asking about others joining that party. That's one way that you can actually do that. If you set it up for pendants, then people will know, you're going specifically for that. Atonement so. is the very worthy of goals. Not bad at all. I got these unlocked. There should be another one too. No, there are no more. Oh, it's not these. Oh, was that for like 20 headshots or something? Did I did I get that? No, no. I, 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 if I got that, then I would have got the, uh, the heads up for it on... Um, I would have got the heads up for it on like Steam or something. Steam would have let me know I got it. Because there was one I was supposed to get like 20 headshots or something. 20 in like direct headshots. Um, consecutively, I don't missed. think I got that yet. <laughs> I am not that good of a shooter. All right. Well, I, I think I'm going to conclude my test here. Everything looks normal, looks like it's back to standards, even though I've moved a lot of things around. Uh, I've disconnected and reconnected. I've got back on live as well. Um, so as soon as I get a schedule up, I'll share that with everybody as much as possible. I'm not 100% sure because um, everything is that's being set up is new, but uh, I'm gonna try to get on a whole lot more often as much as I can in regards to the new schedule that's being set up. I'm supposed to have more time off, more days off. <laughs> so I won't be working as much, which my paycheck is going to feel it, but my brain is going to thank me. My body's going to thank me for not working it uh, tirelessly like I have been for about a year now. Anyways, thank you everybody uh, who stopped by, everybody who lurked. Shout out to Tokyo as well. Um, hope to see you on stream soon. Uh, shout out to Big Zaddy Ella. Ella, I, we know each other in person, so... <laughs> There's that. Anyways, hope to see uh, everybody in their own streams and